New at 10, it's been one year since parolee Evan Ebel cut his ankle monitor going unmonitored for days. And then he went on a murder spree, killing the head of Colorado's prison system, Tom Clements, and husband and father, Nate Leon. Call 7 investigator Teresa Marchetta spent the last year uncovering failures at the Department of Corrections. Now only on 7 News, Teresa is talking with Nate Leon's wife about a year without justice or answers. It's not going to be a day to remember. It's not going to be a day of celebration. It's going to be another night of hell. St. Patrick's Day one year ago, Katie Leon kissed her husband Nate goodbye for the last time. Is anything different or better a year later? No. No. That's not. I still go to bed in tears. I still wake up in tears. Nate Leone was just 27 years old, working a second job that night to bring in extra money. We were giggling, and I begged him to call off work and stay home and just celebrate St. Patty's Day, and we were going to have a good day. I first interviewed Katie Leone and her mom, Bernadette Alness, last May. The 27-year-old man, they got murdered for a T-shirt. They were shocked by what I'd uncovered, a catastrophic series of errors made by the Department of Corrections Parole Division leading up to Nate's murder. Hearing for the first time from me how a dangerous parolee and known prison gang member went unsupervised for days, killing Nate for his Domino's uniform to use in the murder of his ultimate target, the head of the Colorado prison system. We were dusted under the rug. All these months later, they say no one in the DOC or any other agency has taken accountability. Dust me off all you want to. I'm just the wife. Or explained in any detail to them how the case unfolded. No, they just told us, you know, this is who killed your husband. We're positive that this is who killed your husband. And that's where it ended. And that's exactly where it ended. We haven't heard from anybody since, and that was, you know... A month into it or so. But just this month, another bombshell. Katie learns not from investigators, but instead from social media, her husband's killer forced him to make a recording before his death. It was kind of a slap in the face. My friend sends me over, oh, well, did you hear what happened? And then sends me over the article like, it was just like hitting a brick wall. There is no healing. For herself, maybe, but Katie has devoted every second of the last year to helping their five-year-old twins heal. They're happy and... They're so smart. And understand the grievous offense is not even an adult mind can grasp. I don't know what to tell them and, and how to make them understand. It's not their fault. Daddy didn't abandon them. It wasn't daddy's choice that daddy's gone. But, but he's gone. I just said a, a bad man hurt daddy and, and daddy went to heaven and daddy's an angel now. Katie finds some comfort in surrounding herself with things Nate loved. I've got a little steampunk heart, and it's got my kids' birthstones in it. And I've got my Rubik's Cube. Like the necklaces she wears. And then I've got Nate's wedding ring and a picture of Nate. And she has transformed the last place Nate was alive. We put a cross out there, and we've put flowers. Into a place for peace and healing. He's right there behind me when I go out there and I cry. He's right there when I talk to him. What would justice mean for you now? Would, would there be something that could happen? No. No. Should have never happened. But there will be no justice. It's taken me a year to actually say that, but there will be no justice. And that's hard to accept. Katie says she's reached out to the families of other homicide victims over the Internet and is slowly building an online support group. Because she's had no contact with the agency whose errors led to her husband's murder, she's not optimistic any real change is taking place at the DOC. I've promised her we're still holding officials accountable. I'm Call 7 investigator Teresa Marchetta. And we have more from our interview with Katie Leon available right now on the 7 News app. It's one of our top stories on the homepage.